Hey, thanks for checking in on Bathtub Sir, and welcome back to Shadow of the Tomb Raider. We're on the path to the Hidden City, and hopefully we'll find it soon enough. Last episode we just popped into that cave and killed a couple of foxes. They nearly got the better of us, but we're really good at dealing with them shaggy demons now. And we found a map of secrets. Now what that entailed, or what that um, allowed us to do, was to see that there's a crypt just over here. And that's what I'm going to try and get to first. Now, as I swam over earlier, I did see that, look, there's a path up there. And we potentially get to it from that rope thing there. But we need to... Ah, oh, okay. And you do it from there. Am I being precise enough with all these there's? So we need to make a little rope bridge over to that one there. <laughs> and hopefully we'll be able to get to it. So that poses the question, how do we get up? I think maybe if we follow it around... Whoa, my God, what is that? Was that like a llama? An alpaca? Or, or something? I don't know the difference. Should I? I think that's an alpaca. I don't think that was a llama. Right, what also I don't want to do is accidentally trigger any mission stuff. So, can we get up? Oh, that's how we got down. Right. It's definitely feasible that we can't get to the crypt yet. But I feel like we should be able to. There we go. It's just that little path. Thank God. It's kind of hidden there. The wall didn't look too uh, conspicuous. Gather three condor feathers. Beautiful rare feathers gathered from condors. Used for crafting rare outfits and special abilities. Cool. I really want to hunt that um, alpaca. So now we go down here. Obviously, by sussing out this crypt as well, we will unlock a new outfit. I'm really digging what we're wearing lately, but I'm always open for change. I don't know what's in this season, especially in the Peruvian jungle. So we may be really embarrassing to other people with these clothes. What's in this year? I mean, if alpaca's in this year, then we are making the most beautiful alpaca cardigan you've ever seen. I'm going to feel like such a, such a dope <laughs> if after this episode I find out it's actually not an alpaca, but a llama. Into here, the dark, compact cave. It's alright, we've seen many of these type of places before. That is a trap. Okay, there we go. Hmm, you won't get me, strange music genre. That's a reference to the trap, by the way. Guess that fell on deaf ears, which most trap music does to me. Oh, that's a pretty face. The sun. Okay, water looks deep enough. Are you sure? You should really be sure if we about to dive in. And what's this? We could just take the stairs. I reckon that's the way back up, though. So that's boring. And what is that, I wonder? I mean, I know what it is, but... Oh, you can burn that from the other side. Yes, I can see the cloth. I don't think the fire will work from this side, though. Let's get some experience points for this. Learn about a new god or something similar. 73%, it's looking good. May Chuki have woven us each a tunic of the finest wool by the time we reach the afterlife. Chuki, some sort of tailor. Deals in wool. Where'd you get wool from? Alpacas. This is all linked together. Seeing a theme here. Oh, 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 no! <laughs> we didn't dive. And because we didn't dive, I was scared that I was jumping onto not water, ground, as it's more commonly known. So I thought we were going to die. What's going on here? Is this dude really angry that everyone keeps sleeping? And that time's over, get back to work? This might be a crypt where the nobles were interred. Ah, is interred a fancy way for saying like buried? Tombed? <gasps> Tomb Raider? There's another one here. Is this some sort of eulogy for the people laid to rest here? Perhaps. I don't see any people laid to any rest, though. Can you go deeper? You can. Why did you not think of this before? Oh, it goes real deep. This is a huge place. There's a crack over there as well. Okay, right. We need to find out the correct way to go before we get ahead of ourselves. I'm definitely going to explore that crack a little bit later. Why not just do it now? Where could it take me? Oh, I just don't know. And that stairs leading back up. Yeah, it's these stairs, isn't it? Okay. So, by process of elimination, we now know two routes that are not the way to go. It could be worth firing an arrow to that. 
Did that work? I thought we might have got lucky. Okay, it's not working. Fine. So now we swim through the crack? Yes. I don't know why she doesn't dive in that one. She doesn't want to, but it's fine. Can't force her to dive. You wouldn't see me diving off that, so I can't exactly tell her to do it. Now watch out for big eels or piranhas. Maybe squids or little baby sharks. No, not baby. Don't do the song. Might be coming later. Right, let's take a breath. Don't. I mean, the underwater segment was okay, but I don't want to do it for too long. They do make me feel a little bit anxious. And I can't tell if they're piranhas or not. Let's get a speed on our swimming. Okay, let's take another breath. And see if there's anything we can interact with down here. Because it looks like there could be. Dead ahead was the thing I spied first. What is this? Some sort of pedestal? Oh, a new language to learn. What is that? These are the king and queen of Miklam. The principal underworld of Aztec mythology. The Kantakutli was the most prominent of the gods associated with death. He was often depicted as a skeleton with eyeballs in his skull sockets and his responsibilities included looking after the souls of the departed. His wife, Miklansiwat, presided over festivals of the dead, which are precursors to the modern Dia de los Muertos traditions. Yeah, they look very familiar in design. To anyone who's maybe seen bits about the Dia de los Muertos stuff, Day of the Dead, maybe I should stick to the English translation of it. But cool Aztec stuff now. Looking good. I'm, I know so many hipster girls with tattoos of... Uh, them type of skeletons on their forearms or back of their legs and stuff. So now should we go over here? Stairs leading up. We won't be able to get through there, will we? Oh, you can hack at it. Why not then? Keep going, keep going. Yes. Do I follow these stairs maybe? We can take a breath of air if we do this. That's another trap. Make sure we cut it. I don't think... I mean, I hope this is the right way to the crypts. It's got to be. A map. Okay, and that's just uh, provided all the collectibles. I'm not too fussed about them, to be honest. We've got a place to go deeper. I'm getting so lost. A treasure here. And is that a gate ahead that we won't be able to open? kind of hope it's blocked. For reasons I explained earlier. Wait, no, I thought I saw something. No, okay. Right, now we can carry on swimming through the uh, the passage that we opened with our pickaxe. That's fine. Mind the spears. I don't think we need to make arrows. I don't know why I went to there. So what are all these mummified people? Are they statues? I can't tell. It's a little bit unsettling. They've got to be statues, right? They're not actual bodies preserved. Because they're in water, they won't be able to be preserved in water. They must be stone. Yeah, come on. Let's not get any strange ideas here. Everything's perfectly fine. Ooh, what a lovely shade of green that's gone. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. We're out. Point of interest revealed. The, uh, oh, how would you say that? Sarcophagus? That's like a mummy tomb, isn't it? Here recently. That's what a sarcophagus is. You need the reinforced knife. Oh my, don't tell me we've done all this and we're just going to get stopped at certain points. It's also very, very dark. Where's the sarcophagus? <laughs> Where's the mummy tomb? Here's what I've been looking for. Yeah, is this the crypts? Right, so that's the entrance of the crypts, and then this is your reward. That must be how this works. Because this is what you do at the end of all the crypts. You push it open, and you find a bit of clothing to design. Manko's boots. Fur trim boots worn by Manko, the peasant saviour. Nice. I can't wait to see if we can craft them. So it seems like it's going to need a lot of hides, maybe. Can't go anywhere else because of the reinforced knife. So really, I need to hunt a few more animals. I might try and do a poison arrow on something. That doesn't sound too morbid. 
Yeah, let's get that equipped just in case. Oh, we can put it down with a normal one. Cool. That's what we tried to fire the fire arrow into from the other side. I knew it would all meet up in the end. Good stuff. Okay, we get out of here, and then we'll shimmy back over on the rope, and I think we've pretty much explored most of the village. So we can carry on to the path to the hidden city. That's what I'm hoping, anyway. Let's have a look. Keep an eye out for any animals as well. Hmm, I wonder if we could make that... Okay, now I think he just wants us to swan dive. There we go. There is that challenge to do the four high dives, but I'm not too inclined to find the rest of them. Now, let's keep an eye out for any... Oh, God, that bird made me jump. Now, the last time we saw an alpaca it was around here. I don't see him anymore. There he is. He's off again. Okay, okay. Yes, he's dead. We poisoned him and we shot him three times. Feels like a little bit of overkill. Feels a little bit bad, but I'm sure he'll be fine. In the afterlife. Obviously, he's not fine here. He's dead now. Two hides and... Oh, no, we get a teardrop there. I'll pack a teardrop. Feel a little bit bad. Check my map. Isn't there a campfire around here? Surely there should be. I don't know. No need to explore better. We did explore around this part of the village. I remember that. So maybe what's in this house? I'll take that. Hello. Did you hear someone? Oh, there is someone there. I can help you. Get back! You don't belong here. Listen, I know it hurts, but. Malfunction! Trinity? What? How? Also, can we take his clothes? They look really cool. Thank you. Get out of here. There's more coming. I'll take it there with him. Who are you? What's your purpose here? I'm a researcher. Lara Croft. They'll be back. We must find safety. Bring her. No! <laughs> Not the sack over the head. What about Jonah? We need to let him know where we're going. My son, you're my heir. You must not court unnecessary danger. Had you not been there, would this woman have found us? I'm glad you're safe. Really? You're cold? Come on, we're in the jungle, for God's sake. If you're not with the cold, how did you find this place? I followed a map from a temple. I was expecting ruins, not you or any of this. The cult. Why did they attack your son? I recognize their insignia. I know them as Trinity. I'm trying to stop them. Stop them from doing what? They're looking for an artifact. Uh, some sort of box connected to a moon goddess. And 
why do you want it? To steal it? Sell it. No. I just can't let Trinity, the cult, get to it first. They're too dangerous. Why? What have they done to you? They killed my father. Can I show you something? Do you know what this is? This is by Titi. You're already here. By Titi, the hidden city. But what's this eye? That is a place of death and sacrifice. And you think your artifact is there? Yes. Well, none who has gone has ever returned. I'd be willing to try. You will risk it simply to stop the cult. Yes. Bring him in. Jonah. 100% is Jonah. There we go. Jonah. Do you know this man? He's my best friend. Abby. She's fine. Who else is looking for you? There's no one else. I believe we're seeking the same thing. We will bring you to the serpent with the silver eye, but we'll keep your friend here. You won't get very far if you're lying, and he will not be comfortable. You don't need to do that. It's, it's fine. I'll stay. Let's leave. Get this woman some clothes. Would you? him company i'll be back as soon as i can all right see you jonah you big old bargaining chip you keep him safe all right pretty nice place I mean, it's pretty nice. It looked great on the postcard. The Hidden City. Good stuff. Oh no! Look who it is! It's the brother of the alpaca. You see him? Oh, he's got the look of revenge in his eye. I feel terrible. Is he waiting to speak to us? Is that why he's waiting there? We'd have to cross his path. This outfit bears the official colours of the deposed Queen Unaratsu's family line. Many rebels don't let you finish reading the tooltip in time. I'm sure it's a good outfit. Look, I'm going to go back to a pet peeve that I may have referenced earlier in the series. I can't remember. But this is not a hidden city. Look at it, man. Anyone could stumble upon this place, especially if they're looking for it. We've got guys go from the air. It can't be too dangerous to charter a helicopter around this parts, can it? Seriously, it's not hidden. You'd see, you'd see the smoke. You'd see something. Unless it's like Wakanda and it has like a secret invisible force field around it, this place would be discovered so quickly. Also, how can they all speak perfect English? I uh, don't know your name. I apologize. As the rebel leader, I have to be careful. I am the rightful queen, Unuratu. Nice to meet you. Unuratu. Oh, okay, don't look him in the Excuse eye. Me? You still owe me a scouting report. Sorry. There was one thing this morning. Yes? I saw Hakan debating with his neighbor. He seemed angry. As I came near, they suddenly stopped talking. Then they started laughing as if one had told a joke. He's planning something. Good work. Thank you, mother. Oh, they apples? May we have one, please? I'd love to taste a hidden city apple. Let me have a quick look at the map here. Because there's probably going to be a side mission some point in this hidden city. Loads of collectible stuff which we'll get to. No side missions as of yet. This is where we came from, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. We're not missing any crypts or tombs. What's that? A mural. And no side missions just yet either. Should I just explore this? Oh, okay. You'd find out quickly. I see that. Alright, we'll follow you for now. We'll get free rain eventually, I suppose. 
What is he wearing around his waist there? A, a red ribbon? Looks like Minnie Mouse's bow. Tied around his ass crack. <laughs> oh, he doesn't speak English. Okay. No, we're not a spy. I would like to grab this chest quickly. And that map. The new methods of agriculture introduced by the cult of Kukulkan have only succeeded in destroying more crops. First, the bee colonies collapsed. Then the cocoa crop failed. The earth is too damaged for anything but corn to grow, and the stalks are flimsy. We must take action, or Paititi will suffer a tremendous famine. Tremendous famine, that never's that is never good, I'm pretty sure. Cool, we've got the experience. We need to catch up before she kills Jonah. This is a traditional foot plow, still used in the Andes today, even outside Paititi. Sometimes the simple ways are still the best. A foot plow? It's kind of cool. That's really inventive. Look at that. Hello. Good day, man and ladies. How are you? Oh no, he's got another brother. Or is it the same one? It's the same one. How did he get here? He's like Snoopy the dog. Look, I'm sorry we shot your brother with them arrows, okay? Look him in the eye, Lara, when we apologise. I know you loved your brother, but if you ask me, he could sometimes be a bit of an ass. He didn't suffer. We only shot him once with a poison arrow and then twice with regular arrows. But, uh, but put it this way, his hide will go to good use, I promise you. Who are you? Oh, you got a mission for me? Over there. Okay, but who are you? Oh, okay. Maybe he won't speak to me. Enough, Taki. You lost your dice. Fine. But don't lie about You lost your dice? Can I help out, Taki? Are you okay? Greetings. No. Pisco the dead took my dice. And no one believes me. But he took them. A dead man took your dice. Are you sure you didn't lose them? Ugh. You're as bad as the rest of them. I'm sorry. You're right. I'll tell you what. I'll pay very close attention, and if I see Pisco the dead, I'll ask for your dice back. Really? Do you believe me? It won't be the first time the dead seem to speak to me. So we get his dice back. Where the hell's Pisco the dead? And also, what's with the haircut, dude? I know you don't have like a, a line into current trends and uh, fashion, but really the bowl cut in the hidden city? <laughs> Come on, dude. Now where is it? Pisco. And where do we even start searching for Pisco? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Can I put a marker on that, please? Where am I? So, do I go this way? No. We go this way. We lost, kind of lost the queen. I don't know where she went. She must have went up here. But at least she's not threatening to kill Jonah now that we've strayed off the beaten path. He looks so cool. Oh, I want to get a hat like yours, man. Oh, a market store. Very beautiful. Your shop. Please don't tell me you sell a wide array of guns. Be so Will ludicrous. Trade? Please. I have barely made enough to offer in tribute. Tribute to who? The cult of Kukulkan, of course. They demand half of all profits earned on market day. But if they think I tried to short them... I understand. Thank you, Ishiki. Will you trade then? They demand half? Oh, cool. He hasn't got guns. I like that. And we got 3,000 gold pieces... We don't have enough for the outfit, which is all I really care about. What's this? Fire arrows, we can make them ourselves. Could make a new bow. Uh, bow. Oh no, we can't. We haven't got enough for that. Silent arrows. Nah, we're Thank fine. You, Sorry, dude. You'll still have to struggle giving half your earnings to the government, I guess? That's a bit capitalist. But whatever. And we'll keep moving forward. There's something here. Oh, we have all different kind of shops. What are you just for clothes, I think? I don't recognize you. What are you doing here? Where did you get that tunic? It was given to me by Unuratu. Oh, you are the queen's guest? I meant no offense. Please, you must forgive me. Hmm, we'll think about it's it. It's alright, don't worry. Don't be so okay. quick, Lara. I didn't like her tone. I want to make her squirm a little bit. I've got a satchel. Increases carrying capacity of natural man-made resources. Hell yeah. 
Knife upgrade. Yes. So if we get this, we can go back and cut the the rope at the uh, the crypt. Hmm. Very good. Thank you. So we've got a new stronger knife now. Sweet. What can we sell? Seventy-five gold ore. Sell to merchants. That's all it's good for. Sell it all. Here you go. Brilliant. Jade ore. Just sell that stuff as well. Oh my god, we're rolling in cash. We are rolling. Wait, no. It said. Save your jade ore for rare upgrades, bollocks. Have we messed up? Well, let's get the satchel anyway. The gods favor us both. Thank you. Alright, we might never return to you. Let me take this. I think there's something here I can find. My controller's vibrating. Like crazy. Okay. Let's not get too distracted. I want to go find the dice for that little kid. Ooh. Let's rub this first. Also, I want to find a, a campfire to upgrade any skills. What's this one? Uh, it's difficult to make out. People settled between two rivers. They weren't alone. However, these outsiders don't appear dangerous. Okay. We're not dangerous either, so hopefully they will accept us eventually. I'm really struggling to find my bearings. If we carry on this way, we'll get to the sucker with the dice. New base camp discovered, as if on cue. Okay, so going up them stairs. It seems like we have to go that way and trigger a bit of story. And then we can go around here. Why is all these buildings red? Are they destroyed or something, do you think? It's a bit humbling to be here in Paititi. I didn't foresee any of this. I was expecting an ancient place. Artifacts. Tombs. I just failed to imagine people. I was so focused on the trail of clues, I didn't even stop to wonder. I didn't mean to interfere, but Trinity's here. You gotta speak more? No, okay, she's done speaking. I really like it by TT. I could stay here for a while. It's grown on me in the short space of time we've been here. So we have two. Increases chance of recovering arrows. No, that's a boring one. I'm all about the combat, really. Adds a flare round to pistols. That could be good, maybe. Craft lore traps on enemy corpses. That could be really cool. I think I'm going to go for that. That caught my eye last time. Hold RB near enemy corpses to craft a trap on their body. It's nice and simple. Easy to do. If they investigate the trap corpse, it will explode. Perfect. Can't wait to ruin someone's day with that. And the inventory. Can we make the outfit? Oh, it's the boots to the cape that we already had? No, or are we out of sync now? Yeah, we're out of sync. But we can make this. Um, it, animal predators take longer to detect Lara. Let's put on the monkey boots then. Hell yeah. I want to go back to the tunic we're wearing though. There we go. Perfect, I'm happy with that. Well, on that note, I think it would be a good place to leave it in Paititi. This is a fun word to say, so I'm going to use it at every opportunity. If you enjoyed this episode of Shadow of the Tomb Raider, please go ahead and leave a like. It helps out a great deal, and I really do appreciate it, so thank you. If you want to see more from Lara and Paititi, we're going to carry on following the Queen. Hopefully we won't anger her in any way. Also, I'm going to try and do the side quest, finding that boy's lost dice. Please go ahead and subscribe, I can bring it to you. Got any questions on the raise? What do you think of Paititi? Don't you think it's pretty in Paititi? Let me know in the comments below, and I will make sure I get back to you. Alright? See you!